everybody! So today this video is going to be talking all about, well not necessarily talking all about, but I'm going to be showing you how I clean my ear piercings, specifically my tragus and my helix piercing up here. Um, some of you have asked me how I clean mine because they were having trouble cleaning yours. So I figured I would make a video showing how I clean mine. Um, I got my tragus and cartilage pierced five days ago today, so this is what they look like now. Um, I haven't cleaned them yet today, so I figured why not film it while I do it so you guys can see. But this is what they look like now. My tragus is obviously this one down here, and then my helix is the one up here. So I'm just going to be showing you how I do it. First of all, the first thing I do is every time I take a shower, I use my Provon soap. If you don't know what that is, I talk about it in a few of my other piercing videos if you want to go check that out. That is where I talk about it, and it's a really, really great antibacterial soap, and it does wonders for piercings. So I definitely recommend that if you have a new piercing that you are trying to clean. So what I do is when I am in the shower, I just take a little bit on my finger and rub around the ball and then behind, and then I just take um, some more clean soap and I just put it, you know, in the little crease right here where my helix is, and then also I rub it around the back. So that is what I do in the shower, and then some of you, I think someone asked me on my um, ask forum that how I, how I rinse them without getting water in my ear, and I have a shower head that comes down like the one that unattaches and I find it really easy just to hold it right by my ear kind of holding it this way so the water is shooting the piercings in the front and then I hold it behind my ear kind of like this to clean the back of the cartilage and then I also kind of hold it at like an angle to clean behind the tragus if you don't have a shower head that comes down like most people I don't think a lot of people do but if you do have a shower head that does come down a little bit I would Definitely just try to angle your head so you know the water is hitting the piercing but you're not getting water in your actual ear because I know a lot of people definitely don't want that to happen. So that is what I do in the shower. Every time I take a shower I clean them. You can't, I mean I still clean all of my piercings in the shower. I still even clean my belly button piercing in the shower. Provon soap just does wonders for piercings so I definitely recommend that if you have a fresh piercing that needs to be cleaned. And then as far as like cleaning outside of the shower goes, I clean it morning, morning, afternoon, and night with sea salt. And I know you can, I know there is like different types of ear cleansing solutions that you can use for that. And it's totally up to you what you want to use. Um, a lot of people, when I got my three lobes done on each ear, they actually gave me a cleaning solution. So if you have still have some of that from, you know, Claire's or whatever, you can still use that on your other piercings if you still have it and it hasn't expired yet. You can use H2 Ocean, you can use other types of cleansing, but I personally like to use sea salt. That's what works best for me and my piercings. So first off, um, as always, I am using my non-iodized sea salt. You definitely want to make sure it's non-iodized because the question I get all the time is can I use regular kitchen salt or can I use just regular, you know, just sea salt? And the answer is no, that you can't. It has to be non-iodized sea salt. I got this big thing of sea salt from a pet store and it works great. Love this stuff. and. I mix it in a little clean medicine cup which just looks like this. I just got this off of a Dayquil bottle that I had in my cupboard. So this is perfectly clean and I use this um, for my sea salt solution. So after you have those two things, you're definitely going to want some Q-tips. Um, just some standard Q-tips, doesn't really matter. Um, the softer the Q-tips are, the better, just so it's easier on the piercings and it doesn't hurt as much. So those are all the things that I do to clean my ear piercings, or all the things that I use to clean my ear piercings. Then you're going to make sure you want to wash your hands really, really good. I just washed mine, so they're fine and ready to go. So I'm just going to go ahead and mix up my sea salt solution, and then I will show you how I clean them. I'll zoom you in and get you all up in my ear, and then we can go ahead and get started. Okay, so I just want to kind of show you what... Um, this is the sea salt amount that I put in, so about one fourth of a tablespoon that I put inside there. And then I like to fill it all the way up to the brim with really, really hot water. Um, luckily, this sink has really hot water, so it works perfectly. Um, hot water and sea salt, once it mixes together, makes just the perfect solution, and it feels really, really good on your piercings. This is like my favorite part. I love. I love cleaning my piercings with sea salt just because it feels so good. So next you're just going to fill up to the brim with hot water as hot as you can stand it but not too hot so you don't you know like burn the piercing. 
Okay, so I have just filled the cup with sea salt, and I don't know if you can see, but it is kind of steaming a little bit, so it's nice and hot, and I just kind of like to let that sit for a little bit so the salt can kind of have a minute to get into the water and make a nice little solution. And then once you do that, you're going to want to take a clean Q-tip. Um, since I have two fresh ear piercings, I like to use different Q-tips for each piercing because I don't want to use a Q-tip that I used on my tragus to clean my cartilage. So I like to do one and then the other, all using clean Q-tips. So let's go ahead and get started and I will show you how I clean them. So now I have a clean Q-tip and my sea salt solution that I just mixed. And I just like to stick it into the thing and just kind of spin it around just to make sure that it's nice and mixed up and that I'm getting some salt water on the end of the q-tip so there we go and I'm gonna start with my tragus first um, just so I can um, that's how I always start I always like to start with my tragus okay so here's my tragus piercing right here um, it is five days old so I do still want to be really careful with it and since I have a ring in my tragus I like to um, kind of pull lightly with the q-tip just so I can get behind the ball so I just like to go around like this making sure that you want to move the ring out of the way so you can get behind the ball and then I just like to push it back up there and then using the clean side of the q-tip that we just cleaned the front with I'm going to use the clean side so we can clean the back of it Alright, so to clean the back of it, I'm just kind of going right behind my tragus and just rubbing it really, light, really lightly behind the back. Um, since it is still a fresh piercing, you want to make sure that you are going really lightly. And then I just like to take it underneath and just kind of move it. Another thing that's really important with ear piercings is when you do clean them, you want to very lightly and carefully make sure that you are moving them around. Um, the reasoning for this is because you don't want the piercing to hold the earring in place. So you just want to make sure that you move it around quite a bit so you're cleaning it really good and, um, you know, things like that because you don't want the earring to get stuck in place and then have to have it surgically removed. So you just want to carefully move it and it's to the point where it's still kind of tender but it does not hurt as bad as it did uh, the first time I cleaned it first time I cleaned it it was definitely definitely a sore one so again I'm just going over the whole thing again and then there we go that is the how I clean my tragus piercing um, I'll kind of let you guys look at it this is what it looks like now um, looks really good uh, still healing of course it is only five days old but you know it's healing really really good and I'm really happy with it now I'm going to be showing you how I clean my helix piercing, otherwise known as a cartilage piercing, which is up here. And definitely compared to the tragus and the helix piercing, the helix piercing is definitely more sore than the tragus to me. Um, I've had my cartilage done four times on this ear, so, and every single time this one has always been the most sore, so. Um, I don't like cleaning this one as much just because it is more sore than the tragus, but, you know, here we go. Alright, so here is my helix piercing up here. Um, I'll kind of let you guys get all up in there so you can see what it looks like now. Um, there is a little bit of pus. I'm having a little bit of pus now, which is totally normal with the healing piercing. Um, that's actually a good thing when you get a piercing if there's some white pus um, you definitely want to keep an eye out for yellow or green if it is those colors you might have an infection but since it is white there's really nothing to worry about you just want to make sure you clean it really good and again I'm taking another fresh clean q-tip and taking it into my sea salt and then I will be doing the same thing that I did with my tragus just starting in the front And to do this, I'm just kind of going around this way and bringing it up, making sure that we're going very carefully because it is still sore. Okay, so now that the front is cleaned. And if you guys are wondering, when you are cleaning a fresh piercing with sea salt and you feel a little bit of a burning sensation, that is completely normal. Your piercing is just healing and the burning sensation that you feel is just the um, sea salt getting into the piercing and cleaning it. So there's nothing to be alarmed when you feel that. 
So now I'm just going into the back of my helix piercing and just cleaning the back of it, making sure I get all the way around, picking up the, the ring, making sure I get it. And then this next part I'm about to do may be a little bit painful for some of you, but I'm actually going to be taking the ring and moving it just a little bit lightly just to make sure that the sea salt gets in there. So I'm just going to take it and put it back. Okay, so I'm just moving it around just to make sure the sea salt gets in there. Uh, my ear doesn't necessarily like that, but you know, you got to do it to make sure that it doesn't heal in place. As I move it around, I'm just going to go over it one more time just to make sure um, if any pus or blood or anything like that came out of it while I was moving it. I just want to make sure that I clean it off really, really good. And just kind of going in little tiny circles. Okay, and then that is how I clean my helix piercing and my tragus. Some of you were asking me why I have rings instead of studs, and the answer is I don't know. That is just what my piercer wanted to do. Um, and she's a professional, she's really good at what she does, so, you know, I didn't have a problem with it. Um, you know, they, they aren't bugging me, it doesn't feel any different than what a stud would feel like. Um, they're, they just look different because they're rings and, um, not studs. And some of you were also asking how come this ring isn't closed all the way. And some of you were saying it was a nose stud that was in my ear, and the answer is no, it's not a nose stud, it is an earring. And it doesn't need to be closed all the way. As long as I keep the ball pushed up against my tragus, then there really shouldn't be a problem. Just as long as it stays pushed up against, then you know I shouldn't have to worry about it falling out at all. Okay everybody, so that was how I clean my helix or cartilage and my tragus piercing. I really hope that helped you and I hope you could see everything in focus okay. I was trying to like look, clean the piercing and make sure I was in focus all at the same time. So hopefully everything was in focus and looked okay for you guys to kind of understand how I did it. Um, really simple and easy. I just do that every morning and every... Um, every night sometimes in the afternoon you know if I have time I just quick run a q-tip over and just clean them off and then again in the shower I just clean them with my Provon soap I have been wearing my hair up a lot lately just so I can let my piercings kind of breathe a little bit so they can um, you know heal without having like hair land on them or anything like that so so far the healing process is going really really well I'm really happy with them um, you guys wanted to know pain levels and both of them I would give a 3 out of 10 I really wasn't bad at all if you guys want to know more about my ear piercings I do have an all about my ear piercings video coming up very very soon so just stay tuned for that where I will talk more about this and my lobes and prices and pain and cleaning and all that good stuff so just make sure you stay tuned for that if you guys have any questions as far as cleaning them goes um, go ahead and leave a comment below and I will get back to you I always answer everybody um, you know, any questions you may have, I will answer. So just post a comment and I will answer it as soon as possible. But until then, I will see you guys very soon in my next video. Bye, guys.